And now we export all of that data into Excel. This looks like programming because it kind of is. We first declare the, uh, a file name for our um, Excel spreadsheet that we're going to create. Uh, in this case, it's called single.xls because we're doing single spans. Then we need to populate that sheet with all of the parameters that we have derived. We start with the thickness. Now, one of the bad things about Excel, it doesn't understand vectors. It doesn't understand units. So we take our thickness, DP, the depth of the panel, and divide it by meters to give us the raw number, 50, 75, 100, 150. So that's the raw number we're going to put in the Excel sheet. Similarly with spans, we've got to divide it by meters to turn it into just a raw numbers. We give the thing a title, so this is for bending. So that title will go at the top of the uh, load span table. Then we start exporting. So we use the right Excel function that you can get, and that comes under input output under Excel ex components. <clears throat> And there are right uh, Excel functions which require a file path, which we've already described. The information you're putting in it, in this case the title, and where you're putting it, in this case the first sheet, and in the first cell, A1. And on we go. We put the thicknesses in A2, the spans in B2, and um, the actual spans, the numbers, into B3, and then the thicknesses into A4. We populate the data. Again, we strip out the units. So we're looking at the bending, which is WM. We divide it by kilopascals to get out the raw data. And then we do basic programming. <clears throat> we count the rows, which is the length of the matrix. And then we add the rows and turn it into a string by using the num to string function in MathCAD. And then we define what we call B cell by adding the initial B cell to the number of rows. So we take B and put it as B4. And we export that data. So export six is writing to Excel to that file path with that data. Data one is all of this, and it puts it in that cell, which is marked as B4. Okay. And then we do the same again for shear deflection, fixings, and download, upward load, and so on. So that will be a simple spreadsheet full of all these numbers. OK, so that's exporting Excel. What about getting back again? Well, I've just punched it out and it's going to pull it, pull it back in again. So I can read Excel uh, in this case. And so it will populate. So the simplest way of doing this, let's move to one side. You look under your input output tab in MathCAD and you insert an Excel component. Let's make it a bit bigger. And in the input, so there's an input here and output here, input expression and then we read and then we can browse and here is the file you can choose which columns and which rows to take it is automatically picked the ones that are populated at the moment and even which sheets and then you can insert that in this case it's put the full line in there uh, and it should populate that because it's probably busy, it won't. So I'll come back to one I prepared earlier. So it's populated the Excel sheet into the MathCAD. And we can edit it like a, an Excel sheet. If you double click on it, it opens up Excel. Let's make that a bit bigger. And you can format it like an Excel. So you see that one, you want it to be formatted like so. Then you can update your Excel and it should update it in here. You can also resize the column so it fits onto your page. And that is how you get your Excel 
into your MathCAD and once you've got it get in, you can start manipulating it. Thank you.